guys, what's going on? And uh, this is Salvage, and I know I usually don't make Walking Dead videos, and I'm trying to get back into it because honestly, I love the games, I love the comics, I love the TV show, and there's just something I have to get off my chest to all these people that make theory videos and whatnot. And I know this isn't 100% confirmed, but I'm going to be explaining, and spoiler alert, if you haven't seen the ending of Season 6 or Red uh, Issue, I think it was 100 for The Walking Dead, spoilers all around. I'm going to be talking about why Negan had to have killed Glenn, and there's just, there's just no other way. Now, there isn't any proof about this, there's just a, there's a, uh, I'm sorry, there isn't any, you know, speculation. This is to just be a regular discussion video, because there is no way that AMC killed off another character that's not Glenn to Negan. Now, they've already heard the backlash of this episode of the cliffhanger because people are saying well they they must have killed somebody else if they're not going to kill glenn in this episode well that's not true at all and i'm pretty sure that amc has heard this backlash they've seen it everywhere i honestly thought it was a good decision i like i like cliffhangers they keep you on edge until the next season they keep you speculating keep you thinking now my big thing about this is there's no way they would have killed off uh, what Abraham or Michonne or Daryl or uh, I don't know uh, some other character There's no way because they've heard the backlash. They've already known about the backlash They knew that there's gonna be backlash after this cliffhanger episode But there's no way they would be so unfaithful to the comics and so unfaithful to the fans where they would kill another character Yes, it's unpredictable, but so is punches now Let me make this comparison if you're about to get punched in the face if someone says hey Can I punch you in the face and you're like for some reason? Yeah, sure go ahead is that punch going to be any less painful because you're expecting it? I'm just wondering. Is that punch going to be any less painful because you're expecting it? Even if you are expecting it, will it still hurt? Yes. Same thing with Glenn's death. I would expect Glenn to die, and I hope that Glenn, unfortunately, I don't want Glenn to die, but I hope he dies just so they're faithful, and they actually bring, you know, a new element to Maggie, and, like, make Rick actually hate Negan. You know, if they kill off a minor character, like, I don't know, what's her name, Sasha, or any other character that's not Glenn, it will impact the group, but it's not going to be so, you know, like, strong to Rick and to Maggie than Glenn, because... Let's think about this. Who is one of the first people that Rick necessarily meets? Morgan, Morgan's kid, and Glenn. Those are like the first three people he's met in the entire show. In the first episode, that's the three, or the first two episodes, that's the three people he met. Glenn is one of the most, like, you know, perfect characters to kill off because everybody feels emotional for him. I would, I would, okay, I know I don't do this much, but I would cry if Glenn dies. There was only three times I have ever cried in a TV show. One was sometime in Dexter. I think I don't even know when it was. It was sometime in Dexter. It was rather when, uh, spoiler alert, Deborah died, or when you know uh, somebody died. I forgot who it was. And the other one was Breaking Bad at the ending. Spoiler alert: when Walter dies. Those were the two that I cried in. And this would be the third one. This would be the third one where I cry in because Glenn is such an emotional character. He's so everybody loves Glenn. I don't know one singular person that hates Glenn, not one person, because Glenn is an emotional fan favorite, and if they just kill him off, because I'm just going to say this now, not a lot of people that watch The Walking Dead read the comics, same thing with comic book movies in general, like superhero movies, people that watch the movie, there's a, there's a majority of people that don't read comics that go and see Superman or uh, Iron Man, you know, so same thing goes around here, you know, I just think that AMC is not that stupid to kill off Abraham or Eugene or Michonne. I don't think they're that stupid because Glenn, there would be so much more backlash than this cliffhanger drama and controversy because Glenn is such an emotional character and I, I hope I don't get dislikes for having my opinion. And I really, really hope I don't. But I have a feeling I'm going to because whenever I make a theory or speculation video or discussion video about my opinion, I usually get dislikes. It happens. But come on, can you guys think about it for one second? Can you think of another person in the comics that was killed by Gle uh, uh, Negan that really had an emotional impact? Think. You guys can think. You guys can think. I'll give you a second. Nobody? Okay, there you go. Negan is going to be a great villain for Season 7. And if he kills off a minor character, or if he just kills off a random character that's not Glenn, he, it's not going to have the same impact as he did in the comics. I hated Negan. I understood Negan, but I hated Negan in the comics after he killed Glenn. Because the, I love Glenn in the comics, and it was one of the freaking most 
traumatic things to look at because I love Glenn. If they show the way Glenn dies, just like he did in the comics, people would lose their, lose their shit. It would not matter if they're expecting it or not. If they see what happened to Negan and um, it happened to Glenn in the comics, what Negan did to him, and then they see what happened to him in live action, if they do that same exact shit, people would start bawling their eyes out. They would lose their shit. They will drop to the ground because that shit was traumatic for me. <laughs> I don't care what anybody else says. That death, that Glenn death, was super dramatic for me. And it really, really was like, holy shit, did that just happen? Because I wasn't expecting it. They're like, oh, we're gonna kill off a major character in issue 100. And then issue, issue 100 came around, and I thought it was gonna be, um... I thought it was gonna be Maggie, really. I really thought it was gonna be Maggie. And then it turned out to be Glenn. And I was like, what the fuck, dude? What the hell? And I just lost it because I, I kinda started crying. And if it happens to live action Glenn, I'm even gonna cry even more. Because that would be terrifying. That would be traumatic. And if they show it in the most gruesome way possible, think of it as uh, Carol when she, uh, when, uh, her husband, I forgot what her, I don't care what her husband's saying was, but when her husband got bitten and died and she was smashing her, his head in, if they do it like that, but actually show Glenn's face like horrified and terrified and show his eye popped out, people would cry. And it would not matter what type of setup you do it in, everybody would feel that punch. And like the beginning of that comparison, if you actually expect a punch coming, will it hurt less? No, it will not hurt less. It would hurt the same amount. It would just be different because you're expecting it. It wouldn't be, you know, uh, physically and mentally, it would not be any different from if you're not expecting it. So tell me what you guys in the comments below. I know this is a different kind of video. Uh, I usually edit my videos a lot, but this was going to be a seven minute video where I talk about Glenn. It was just on my mind and I had to get it out. Uh, I hope you guys like the background gameplay of uh, Walking Dead Michonne because I really wanted to bring something a little different to it and if you guys do like my walking dead um speculation theory discussion videos go ahead and click that like button if we get 50 likes i'll probably upload more so thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video peace out